Hey, too. What's up? This your man, Big B Production 100. I'm here today on this beautiful day. Today is July 31st. What a great video for you guys. Now, I told you guys I was going to be bringing you guys some cool tips and tricks for OS 10 Mountain Lion, and this is going to be one of those videos. So sit back and relax, and we're just going to go over some of the cool features inside OS 10 Mountain Lion that you guys probably didn't know about. I guess you can call these hidden features. So let's get started. Okay, I actually made a couple of notes because it's uh, quite a few things I wanted to go over in OS 10 Mount Lion. That, um, some is hidden and you know, it's new, it's pretty cool. So we're going to open up uh, Safari here. Now with the first cool feature that we have inside Safari, you'll notice that now when you have some text at the top, such as your documents or whatever, your favorite web pages and everything, that sits up top in your menu bar inside Safari or your toolbar or whatever. You can now, well at first, you'll know when you change the text, you would normally have to do a right click and then you can just rename that bookmark or whatever like that, but you no longer have to do that. So now you can just basically click it. I'm sorry about that. You can basically just click it and hold it for like a second or two and it will then change and you can just name it whatever you like, like so and hit enter when you're done. Again, you just take it and basically click it and hold it for like two seconds and you can name it whatever you like. That's one cool feature. Another cool new feature inside OS in my line is going to be inside your system preferences. So just open up your system preferences by uh, basically using Alfred which is a uh, command command if you have it set for command command on your keyboard. It's up to you. Alfred is an application that you can download from the Mac App Store and it's basically, um, it's a finder. It can find applications on your Mac, uh, basically whatever you type in, no matter what. Or you can also use Spotlight to get to your system preferences by performing a command, which is command space bar, like you see up in the top right-hand corner. Or as you always know, that you can go to your Apple symbol and just go to your system preferences. Or you can just go search for it in your launch pad or finder. So it's many different ways you can get to your system preferences. Once you have that open, you now want to come down to where it says accessibility. That's the cool part. Now, inside OS 10 Mountain Lion, you now have many different options to do cool zooms. So, uh, let me show you. I'm going to slide this over here for a second. Okay. Now, basically, once you have Safari open and everything, you can now play with your accessibility now. Again, with accessibility, this is just some cool little tricks that you can perform to zoom in and out on web pages to get a better view of the text when you're reading something. So let me show you here. If you were to just do like a command, I mean an option command, and let's just say the plus symbol, you can zoom in that page. And once you have zoomed all the way in, you can then let go and use your mouse. You can use your mouse to just basically go throughout the whole web page if you're blind or if you really can't see the text. And again, to zoom out, just do an option command and the minus symbol, and that'll just zoom you out a little bit. So that's pretty cool. You can go down to your dock or whatever you like. So we're just gonna go all the way back out. Okay, now the next one would be, slide this back over for you. The next one would be a zoom out and zoom in. Again, that was option command and the plus symbol and the equal symbol, okay? So that's pretty cool. Now you'll notice that if you come down here below where it says uh, zoom follows the keyboard focus, you can check that and then you can select zoom style. So let's just say if we want to do a picture in picture. Now with the picture in picture, again, you can zoom in, but now you can just focus on that area with the picture in picture in the second box. And again, you can do the same command, option command with the plus symbol, that's what I'm doing right now to zoom in and to zoom out, you would just hit the minus symbol. So if you wanted to zoom in to see your text in picture in picture style, you can then use that. So that's a cool trick. This is your man, Big B Production 100. I sure hope you guys found this video very informative. Again, I was just here to show you guys some of the cool tricks that I have found inside OS 10 Mount Wayne. That's some of the hidden features. So. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe if you guys did. Holla at you.